It's hot and humid, and it's taking its toll on the crew. You get sweaty here. Sweaty. And we discover some incredible new findings on the Komodo dragon's killing techniques. I've only got one t-shirt left. It's my last t-shirt. Rests are wet and sweaty. Well, there you have it. Conditions here in Indonesia are challenging, to say the least. The only way around the islands is on foot, and everyone has to lend a hand carrying their very heavy camera equipment through the jungle. And if the crew isn't walking, they're taking a boat, which has its own set of hazards, especially when the boat is small and the engine stops running. Yeah, we're out at sea and the rain's coming and it's monsoon season and there's no stopping it. And um, what, what do you do in a such situation like that? You laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> yes, yes, bring it here. Hello, hello. You just laugh. <laughs> or you sing. <laughs> this is what we do on a shoot. We wait in the rain for the clouds to clear. <laughs> A big concern with our, with our weather is always our expensive equipment because anything can go wrong at any time and if the cameras go down, the shoot goes down. Fortunately, luck intervenes and the engine splutters to life again. Then it's back to the business of filming Komodo dragons. That's just the low boy. Komodo dragons have been living on these islands for millions of years. Discovered only a hundred years ago, they are the largest lizards in the world and can weigh up to an impressive 140 kilograms or 300 pounds. Driven by the most basic of primitive instincts and a body of pure muscle, Komodo dragons only eat meat ripping apart their victim and consuming absolutely every single last little bit guts, flesh and bones. It will eat up to 80% of its body weight in one sitting. But these drooling, stalking, fearsome creatures have a far more sinister weapon in their arsenal than their claws and razor-sharp teeth. Venom. Until recently, it was thought that the dragon's saliva contained lethal bacteria that killed their prey. But scientific research has proved beyond a doubt that these lizards have venom glands in their mouths. All they need to do to kill their prey is deliver one good bite, then sit back and wait for it to die. And there was no mistaking that everyone on the film crew was fair game. Bruce, back, back, back. Back. Brian. Behind the rangers. Uh, the big Komodo is following us looking for a moment to seize any opportunity we could maybe hone in on us and bite one of us. That's what he's actually here for. It's nothing, it's nothing less than that. Fearless.
absolutely fearless. You know, he, he, his main incentive is to bite you. He's got you in his, in his sights, you're his target, and he doesn't care about anything else. There's maybe 15 or 20 of us standing around at any given time. And this animal's not intimidated by humans whatsoever. He knows that we're food and he knows he can bite us and he's going to keep trying until he gets a bite. Coming up in the next episode of Chasing the Dragon, we meet the locals who have to live with Komodo dragons in their midst.